if Jackal is playing Wolf, he knows. He knows his ledge jump is not okay, right? And and if you have good air speed against uh, against Belmont, you can successfully ledge jump uh, yeah. against that quite a bit. So Jackal, oh man, already just jumping right into the cross, uh, forgetting about it just for a second. As soon as he finds that in, it's going to be such big damage. Falling forward, down throw, uh, you name it. Yeah, and Dark Falcon using his spacing. Just to do, it. and I like the not completing it. Just trying to see have Jackal get hit by the cross to get a further extension. But mm -hmm. you see the Nair incoming, and Jackal has Dark Falcon at the ledge. Who tries to catch a neutral? Got up with like a falling neutral, but yeah. uh, Dark Falcon was going to be able to get back in time. Um, but right now, just trying to maybe cover where Jackal is going uh, rather than where Jackal is. Um, yeah. And now we're starting to see that like slight adjustment to the spacing. Wow, love that neutral for coverage. Yeah. And you already see Jackal is cut. Jackal's space already limited so much. And but Dark Falcon all stage to that dangerous situation. Spot dodge. Good job knowing what to do in that situation. We're going to be setting up the ledge traffic with Jackal understanding the assignment and just ho uh, holding on and, you know, just able to just wait out that down smash fully. Um, but right now Jackal is just struggling to find like a lot of these jump ins. I feel like the Falcons playing keep away so well and, and spacing themselves so safely. Yeah, you see Jackal just trapped. And again, with the neutral gun, you have to be wary. You, you can't, can't buffer. You, you can't do I don't even think you should do that option against this character. All right. Oh, is that going to be the yeah, stock? That's, stock. that's and, Belmont off stage, baby. No, such a polarizing character. Oh, but now once again, Dark Falcon just playing keep away, just playing back so, so well. Jackal just trying to find that one big opening. There it is. That's going to be 35 and a tech chase and putting Dark Falcon into the corner. Yeah, but Dark Falcon still fight, being able to fight back. And I love the spacing. A lot of Belmonts you see like to over rely on like B button spacing. But mm -hmm. Dark Falcon is out here just throwing the whip a lot more often just trying to yeah. cover jump ins a lot of diagonal down floaters ah uh, jackal had that but maybe a little bit too soon yeah uh, with the it, tilt. yeah that time is really hard you see the di way bad angle oh, man there we go charlie brown <laughs> that's that's wolf dash attack <laughs> yeah it just sends you in such a nasty place <laughs> and if you don't have like a good good copy it's like oh it's it's over for you so now we're starting to see Dark falcon struggle a little bit belmont being so heavy though uh just Jackal, despite it being a rising forward, was still able to get just a dash grab. That's interesting. Yeah, it's looking really tough. And getting grabbed by one of the slowest grabs in the game. So Jackal just holding onto the ledge here, and honestly, he because of just how quickly his ledge uh invulnerability is running out, he's like not able to even get like a ledge jump yeah. out at the same times. Yeah. Oh man, just doing it the wrong way. At high percent, Belmont just sometimes has like true ledge traps that you really can't get away with. Jackal committing all the way out there, which I don't mind. He has a stock up. It's the right play. Yeah, and you do want to end this stock as nice as possible. It's good. Okay, Noel's about to roll. Almost everybody rolls there. Up to throw. Yeah, that up is not going to be able to do it yet. Jackal getting on before Dark Falcon, but still fights his way back on. This is his stock to take. Falls out of the first hit of yeah. Wolf F Tilt. Ultimate multi hits, but also Wolf F Tilt. It does that a lot. Yeah, it's That's one it. of the pioneers of that. But back throw is going to take it right here. Yeah. And Jackal, Prince of New Jersey. He played that matchup well. He, I think he needed to just like get like, you know, all of his ducks in a little bit. He was able to just to get himself a little bit adjusted. But as soon as he. Um, just sort of like maybe figured out a couple of things with the matchup. He was able to space himself really well. He optimized his advantage state. But more importantly, the most important thing. What is it? Found kills on Belmont offstage. This yeah. is this is what makes low twos low twos. If they're offstage and you can immediately kill them. No matter how well they can box or keep you in the corner. That doesn't matter if they get thrown off once and they're dead. So explain Isabel. Explain Isabel. Oh, Isabel <laughs> is mad exploitable. I think Isabel recovery is bad. All right. Talk about that later, but game two, we're gonna be going to uh, town and city. All right, wider stage, more room to play with, a bit more room to play with. Plus, also weaker side blast zone, so easier for the whip to kill off the side. Mm -hmm. But Jackal also got a few kills off the side, so he might be looking for those too. Yeah, this is a pretty solid stage for both of these plays, especially because Jackal is able to get those kinds of upthrown. Uh, platform extensions. Yeah. Tried to go for like the full thing there. Great timing on the back throw as well. Um, just using the grab line when you pass the cross. 
Yeah, and we saw the platform layout to be really good for Seafalk and just using the use of it, but now we're just on an FD variant. DIing out there so well, just able to avoid that dash attack. I love the fact that he respected the up smash there and just wanted to get back onto the stage. And as a result, look at him now, playing Nooch. Yeah. <laughs> These side plots are really benefiting Jackal because one more lead and he'll be able to find it. Oh man, F tilt is not his, it's not F tilt's day at all. No, it's not. Back throw? Okay, yeah, that's a cross stage. Not gonna take it. Yep. Yeah, not one of the stronger back throws, but you know what? Down tilt? Is no. that a move that you see kill? No. Yeah. But it is faster than F tilt, I believe. And yeah, you gotta block low, kids. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, such a nasty position. Jackal needs to find his way back on. <gasps> Getting hit by the first hit of the of the holy water, but still picks it up. Yeah, it's, that's in a really peculiar situation where if you like hold up and like air dodge, you are able to catch it. Yeah, I mean, Jackal really can't do that much though, so I, I feel like the Falcon can keep recycling the situation with Holy Water. Yeah, and Jackal now finding his way on. Yeah, th that time Dark Falcon was a little bit too slow with that last use of Holy Water. Throws out that cross for a little bit later, maybe trying to save themselves, um, but really Dark Falcon needs the stock click now. Yeah, I'm just super looking for it. Oh, they're looking for it. And honestly, look look how safely Jackal is playing too. He's not even trying to catch him in the skies. He's like, yeah, keep swinging. You'll over extend eventually. Yeah, just now on the lookout. Yeah. Back, recycle, just throw him back off. Oh. Doesn't even want to commit for an offstage neutral, and that time just ends up neutral, got a finger right into down smash. Yeah. Belmont doesn't have the options out of the corner that they need to be able to keep themselves nice and safe, so. Ooh. Oh. There it is again, rising forward and still being able to find a grab. Belmont is so heavy. Yeah, okay, I thought we were gonna see an up B out of that parry. And just try to look for something. I... Man, it feels so bad getting grabbed by Belmont. This grab feels so slow and kind of reactable that it's like, man. It's like, damn, that just got hit by that. Yeah. You know, uh, that would be particularly really good feeling. Really good follow up from Jackal. That's forward to go, forward to go back here. And yeah, you can you can just roll lead on reaction. You know, yeah. you can. You can you, you have so much time. It's so laggy. Okay, dash attack and through. Dark Falcon, this ain't looking good for you. Because so, now you're in losers. There is something that Jackal did with I, his ledge trapping that I think is really amazing. It's the way that he was mixing up the timing of his things. And what I mean by that is this. He was consistently alternating between preemptive ledge trapping and then reactive ledge trapping. Okay. So so what what he was doing, right? When, when the times that he would be pressing F tilt, his next time that he'd be pressing, he'd be trying to ledge trap, yeah. he would sit in shield. Because the opponent is thinking, ah, you know, what if I wanna try to avoid this F tilt? Right? They're conditioned to think that that's gonna be the next option. So they're gonna try to roll back on. But Jackal is perfectly alternating between uh, reaction ledge trapping and preemptive ledge trapping in such ways that like, it feels like a guessing game at the ledge rather than trying to outplay the yeah. opponent anymore.